You know, a lot of people just drive right by this place and never think of coming in. Probably because they think there's not really anything important that ever goes on in here. Maybe it's because they don't have a clue that there are people in here that think there's something really important going on out there. But there is. I'm Steve Garnis Holmes. I'm the pastor here at St. Matthew's. Come on in. It's actually a pretty cool place to be. You know, here we have this wall with all these descriptions of programs and stuff that churches do. But the cool thing about this is that it's not a place where we have programs. It's a community. It's people who are on a journey. Journeys of discovery, of who we are and what's true and beautiful and life-giving in the world. And I love to welcome people into that. The deal is, thousands of years ago, there was this spiritual teacher named Jesus who taught these amazing things about how to live deeply and love with courage and connect with God and with all of creation and live in a way that does justice in the world. And it was such powerful teaching that a whole religion got built up around following that teaching. Now, it's true that there are some problems with that religion. But the content, the essence of it, is about how we live deeply. And that is so cool and so important. So what goes on in here is people exploring what of all of that truth in our religious tradition and in the scriptures and in the life of the community, what of that is life-giving for me, for each person because everybody has to come up with their own we can tell you some stuff we can give you some words that describe some things we believe but each person has to come up with your own story your own journey and we help each other do that and it's holy work so what goes on in our worship here and in small groups and classes and all sorts of mission things that we do out in the world is all this process of each individual meeting God and meeting the world and seeing how those all come together. And it's a wonderful process that we'd love to have you be a part of. There's a safe place for everybody. It's not a cookie cutter that you have to fit into because it's your journey of self-discovery. And we all bundle that together as a community. And we celebrate that week after week when we get together to worship. For some people, something like a communion table or the cross can mean a lot of good, positive, warm things. For other people, it might mean nothing. For a lot of people, it's mixed because these have been used to divide people instead of bringing them together. It's pretty easy to get into our religious stuff and our beliefs and our traditions and say, here's what I believe, and you don't believe that, and we separate ourselves. But at St. Matthew's, what we're hoping for is to create a place where we all find our belonging around this table, in our worship, in our service, in our lives, where we all belong in this incredible love that God gives us. We find our own place and our common bonds with one another, with all those strangers out there, with all of creation. And that is a holy gift that we want everybody to share in. The things we do in church might seem to some people to be sort of strange or foreign, certainly unfamiliar. The pastor gets up in front and wears a robe, but really it's just a robe. It's nothing too weird or scary. This is just Velcro. But the thing is, these little things that we do and the songs that we sing and the gestures that we make, they're symbolic of things that, that mean things to us. And the fun thing is that we all get to find our place in this story. And none of us all have to have the same place, but it's all part of the same story this holy story of God making us into the beautiful, 
powerful, holy people that we are. So I invite you to come be a part of this journey that we're taking as a community and trust that it's all just beautiful. We are a wandering people coming home again. We are a wandering people coming home again. We are a hungry people being fed again. We are a hungry people being fed again. We are a precious people being loved again. Precious people being loved again. You have a place of belonging in this world. Come find it with us. We'll help you.